Can we please stop pretending that we can always be the good person in everybody's story? And don't sit here and say that this doesn't apply to you because it does. You think of yourself and you see yourself as a good person, even if you're not, and you naturally want other people to also see you that way. Maybe because you want people to just like love you and to trust you, maybe because you're seeking like validation or something, whatever the reason is, we generally wanna be perceived well by other people, you know, like your friends, your family, your coworkers. You just naturally want them to think of you and be like, oh, this person is cool, like I rock with them. And you feel this way and you want this because you're taught your whole life, especially as a woman, that it's super important to be considerate of other people, that you should never be selfish, that we should keep other people happy and you know, not hurt anybody's feelings. And I generally agree with those things, but the fact of the matter is that you're always going to be the bad guy to somebody like point blank period i don't care how nice you are how good your intentions are or how hard you try someone out there is going to see you as a bad person i know for a fact of at least like two or three people in like my life that i personally have no issue with but i know that they don't like me for one reason or another and there are even like complete strangers here on youtube who i would assume don't like me based on like some comments that they've left on like a video here or there and i'm not even on here talking about like anything controversial or like bad or mean like people are just they're just gonna have some impression of you and you can't control that they're gonna dislike you like it is what it is and the reason this happens is because we all come from different backgrounds right like we have different experiences we have different perspectives so you could literally like be a saint if you wanted to and it still wouldn't matter you could do everything right completely abandon the things that you want your ambitions your opinions what you share what you like what you dislike how you talk and there's still going to be somebody out there who doesn't like you so then what you actually need to be thinking about is do you want to be the villain in their story or in yours because whether you think so or not you probably already made a choice without even realizing it and most of us actually decide Decided to be the villain in our own story because we chose to put other people above ourselves doing what makes them happy doing what makes them comfortable holding ourselves back so that we don't inconvenience them even hiding parts of ourselves parts of our lives so that other people don't feel as a type of way about what you got going on all of that is you putting other people above yourself so you're neglecting your own happiness you're not letting yourself be seen you're putting a damper on your own life and you're being the bad guy to yourself aka the villain which is trash I personally spent a lot of years of my life doing this because I wanted to fit in. I didn't want to inconvenience people. I wanted to make my parents proud. So for a big chunk of my life, I've literally been presenting whatever part of myself or version of myself I thought would be like most palatable to certain groups of people. And sure, it did make me into someone who's like super adaptable and like knows how to get along with other types of people, but it did also make me into the person who had zero idea what it was that they wanted or who they were. And so I centered like my happiness and my whole personality essentially around like serving other people. And I never gave any sort of like acknowledgement to what it was that I needed. So I ended up in like shitty relationships, shitty friendships, like piss poor friendships, and you know, a job that I hated because I had zero sense of direction for myself. And I didn't really start to see this or figure this out about myself until after I moved to LA. And I don't really know if you, when you're watching this, if you've like started over or you moved somewhere by yourself or whatever, but when you're alone, you have a lot of time to really like learn about yourself and figure yourself out and find out what it is that you want because you know you don't know how you don't have all these distractions of like other people and events and whatever whatever which is why i'm now a huge fan and like proponent of like moving somewhere else where you don't really know a lot of people and also just living alone but my point here is that until you actually take the time and the chance to like notice this in your life and then address it you're always going to be the villain to yourself but you'll be the hero to everybody else around you which is why this year we're going to be embracing our villain era which does not mean being rude to other people, okay? It means you're gonna start prioritizing yourself, which at times is gonna come with like letting other people down and therefore being the villain in their story. So you're not over here just like being rude, being mean or whatever. It's just you putting yourself first and you know, some people are not gonna like that. But we're not gonna worry about that because our focus is gonna be on being the hero for ourselves of our own story. Like there's people out there, y'all, who are like actually the villain because they're rude, they're mean, they're egotistical, self-centered, narcissistic. They like put people down to like make themselves feel better, but they'll look at their own life and their own story and they see themselves as a good person. Like you really can't tell them shit about themselves because they're so honed in and focused on, you know, what they want and the way they see things. And I'm not saying be that person like at all like definitely don't be that person but what i am saying is that you who actually are a good person can probably like learn a thing or two from those people that are like that when it comes to like having a certain level of like self-love and self-prioritization so with that said how are we going to embrace our villain era to ourselves slash no 
No, that's not right. How are we going to embrace our villain era to others slash hero era for ourselves? First, you need to practice doing some nice things for yourself and treating yourself. And this isn't novel and probably doesn't sound like something that you should include with your whole like villain era because it's literally just self-care. But when I say like do nice things, do what you want and like treat yourself, I'm specifically talking to the girls out there who hold back from doing what they want because they worry about how they're going to be perceived. Because I was you and I know you're watching this. How many times do you not wear the outfit that you want to wear because you think someone's going to comment and, you know, say that you're overdressed? How often do you pass on like buying something for yourself or sharing something because you think people are going to call you bougie and, you know, say like it's an insult? How often do you leave the house like not looking your best on purpose because you don't want someone to think you're vain for wanting to take the time to look after your physical appearance? I literally used to do every single one of these things because I was so concerned with how other people would react and how they would perceive me. And I was even scared of being judged by like my friends and my family who I always already knew loved me and cared about me and like they didn't care what I did and they weren't gonna judge me and I'm so serious when I say this but it literally took having someone in my life who I knew was judging me like constantly like I know they didn't like me and they were talking crap about me non-stop for me to finally be like okay well if you don't like me then I'm just gonna do whatever I want to do anyway but if we're being completely honest and upfront about it somebody else's perception of you or literally anything else in life has nothing to do with you and is not your responsibility why are we trying so hard to control everything when we just literally can't because it's literally a losing battle and it makes zero sense do i feel good when i look like crap because i don't want hater number one to think i'm vain no and they're probably gonna pick something else to dislike about me anyway so i might as well just look good and make sure that they can't add that onto the list does that make sense i don't know y'all like rationalize it however you need to rationalize it as long as it gets you to like put yourself first let other people think whatever as long as you're prioritizing yourself and you're not harming anyone along with that we're gonna start saying no more often and we're gonna stop people pleasing we gotta stop being ultra considerate of other people to the extreme level that we've been operating at for years now. Instead, you're going to take some of that consideration for other people and you're going to apply it to yourself and your own life. Let's say your friend says that they really want you to go out with them this weekend, but you had like a super rough week and you've really been looking forward to just staying home so you can decompress and recharge in the way that is best for you. Instead of saying, I don't want to let my friend down, start saying, I don't want to let myself down. Stay in, do what you need to do for yourself instead of dragging yourself through the mud in order to keep showing up for other people. If you have good friends around you, they're going to understand and it's literally going to be fine which actually brings me to my next point which is to give yourself permission to cut people out of your life who do not encourage you and do not support you i've been saying this for like the past month now so you probably think at this point if you've watched my past videos that i don't have any friends or that i don't like anybody but honestly y'all i keep mentioning this because i know so many people who are like amazing people and they have these friends around them who treat them like shit and they stay friends with them because they've known each other for a long time or they have a bunch of mutual friends or whatever it doesn't matter what the exact setup or situation is on like how you have these friendships. It's not worth it to keep those people around in your life because not only are they not supporting you, but whenever it is that you like want to try something new or get into something so that you can grow as a person and challenge yourself, they're going to be the first ones hating and trying to tear you down or you're not accepting what it is that you're trying to do for yourself. They're going to make some kind of underhanded comment. They're going to try to discourage you. They're going to start saying things like, oh, like you think you're better than everybody else now. Like this is not for you. We don't know you. You change. You're you're acting different and you might think that that negativity isn't going to affect you and you can just ignore it but it will find a way into your life it'll find a way to like affect you mentally or affect your emotions which is why i'm over here sounding like my opinion is f everyone else <laughs> but in reality my opinion is to get rid of these negative energy sources that you have in your life because they do not serve you and when you do it they're still going to talk crap about you and you're still going to be the bad person in their story which is fine because like i said we're focusing on our own story and putting ourselves first now if you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, damn, I'm not going to have any friends if I actually cut out the people who don't support me. I'm here to tell you that it's fine. If you need to isolate yourself to remove that negativity from your life, do it. I went through a breakup years ago where all of my friends were friends with my ex first. Zero out of 10 recommend, by the way. <laughs> so when we broke up, I literally had no friends. All I had was like my family and like my coworkers who were like kind of my friends, but not like let's go and hang out kind of friends. Like y'all know what I mean? Like those were friends at work, but we don't take it outside of work. 
But me being by myself for a while really like gave me that space to figure out what it was that I wanted for myself, if I wanted to move, what I wanted to like spend my days doing, even what kind of like people I wanted around me. And the friends that I have now are like the most positive, like life giving, supportive and loving group of people. And I never would have met them if I was still friends with my old friends or like if I wasn't alone trying to figure my life out. And that's another thing that we need to come to terms with, that the friends you have now that are not good people, that make you question yourself, that tear you down, would never Never hang out with the friends who like walk with you and support you and encourage you. And I know some of y'all don't mix friend groups and that's literally fine, but you're the one that's going between each group. You're the one dabbling in the clean water and in the dirty water. So which one are you really like? Which group do you actually fit in with? Because one of them is gonna rub off on you more than the other one, whether you wanna admit it or not. You can't simultaneously be positive and negative or clean and dirty. And having both those sources in your life is actually gonna make it like super difficult to figure out which direction you should be going. So definitely think about that and figure out like what's gonna make sense with where you wanna go and who you wanna be. At the end of the day, literally just pursue the person that you wanna be because there's no reason not to. You wanna be fine as hell, do it. You wanna start going to church, do it. You want a new friend group, go create one. You wanna be nicer, you wanna be more positive, start working out, start making videos. Literally just go do it. People are gonna say you're fake because you changed. Some people are gonna say that you think you're better than everybody. They're gonna say it doesn't make sense for you or that it doesn't fit who you used to be. It's literally fine. Do it anyway, let them talk, let them hate, let them be upset sets because they clearly got their own issues that need healing and just be their villain so then you can go and live in like your main character era or whatever it is that we're going to be calling it this year and as always i'll be here cheering y'all on every single week and checking in with you about you know changes and thoughts and opinions and stuff that are going on in my life that i want to share with you guys because i know we're all going through similar things so i'll see you guys in my youtube shorts and also in next week's video mm -hmm.